Good morning, everybody. I have been up working out this horror. <laughs> Thank you so much to Maureen, who asked me for a tutorial, a lefty tutorial on um, candy cane cord. So that's what we've got. I have got it. I have worked it out. And I have also worked out how to show you in a way that I think will click better. So, um... Yeah, it's one of those you think, shit, how am I going to do that? But I've broken it down. Do you remember, if you saw my arc and weave, I broke that down into two moves and then got you repeating that until eventually it sunk in your brain. That's, I'm doing the same with this one, right? So um, ring sizes, the weave asks for 4.7 AR. I've been doing this with Tom 17 SWG. It's a lovely, lovely size and it gives you a real nice big chunky, right? 6.48 millimeters, these particular ones, and they give me an AR of 4.69, so that's 4.7 near as bloody damn it. And they're lovely. So I'm gonna show you how to do candy cane cord. Right, so I'm gonna show you the the two move pattern that you'll eventually sink into, right? And if you can get this into your head first, then it makes the start less daunting. Because when you look at the start, you think, oh God, and you give up. But when you actually realise that once you're started, you're just doing these two moves, then it'll feel better for you, right? So I'm going to show you from this point. So this, and we're always looking for the crosses, right? So for example, on this point, we've got two crosses there. See, one, two, and then these here. So the first move is through that ring there. He's going to go through the cross and then he's also going to come out of that ring there right so let's do that first put him in there go through the cross and then through that ring there like so and then he's going to sit there and then we're going to want another one whoopsie on the other side so through that ring through the cross and then through that ring. So through that ring, through the cross, oops, and then back through that ring. Right? Which is going to give us that. And then twist him and settle him like that. So that's the next shape we're looking for. That's shape two, the other one was shape one. So this one, and this is important, look for those crosses again, right? And we wanna put two more rings in, but they're gonna be the opposite to what you can see from the previous row. So if you look at the cross, and don't get panicked by what I just said, look at the cross, that ring there, the top one of the cross, goes through that one. So when we're adding this time around, we put it through, make sure it's going through that one. So imagine that's a square. That's our corner and that's our corner. That one is going through that corner. So we want to do the opposite. So for these two rings, we want to do the opposite of ah, what's already done. If we don't do the opposite, we end up with uh, a different version of candy cane, which is cool if you want it, but we don't want it right now. So that ring is going through that corner. So we'll put this one through that corner. And then the opposing one will go up there. Whoops, hang on. through that corner, yeah? Okay, do them up. One. Right, if we fold those up and give it a squeeze, you're back to that shape again. So, as we did before, we're going to go through that ring, 
through the cross and through that ring. One, two, through that ring there. Okay. And then the same again on the other side. So through that ring, through the cross, and then through that ring, like that. Okay, perfect. So, if we now look at this, we're back to the second move. There's your four corners. And we want to do the opposite of what happened last time. So that ring that's sitting on top of that cross is going through this corner. So we want to do the opposing corners. So this one is going to go up in this corner. And in the same way, you can always assume that one's going to go down there because we're doing diagonals. But if you want to check, that top ring of that cross is going through that one. So we want to go down there. Yeah. And that's the two moves. This is why I like breaking things down into two moves. Here we are. So now you've got that. Now you can start to see what happens next, can you? We're going to go down through there. We're going to go down to the cross. And we're going to pick that up there. This one, into that one, into the cross, and into that one. And that's it. So, you can see now how actually once you've got it started, it can be quite simple. What we need to do now is to show you how to start the damn thing. Okay, so to get this started, I'm going to use a trick that I learned from Sarah's tutorial. Um, it's the only tutorial that got this to click in my head. So if you ever like written tutorials rather than video tutorials, Sarah Sherlock Bastin, look her up. She's the one. She's the one. She's the one. <laughs> and I've learned loads from her. So um, to start the weave, she uses a bit of Byzantine, right? You do end up with the start being a bit like this, but that's absolutely fine because, you know, we'll worry about that later. To get it actually going, this is marvellous. So take two closed rings, put a cable tie on there, right, just to keep us nice and still, and then do a chain of two, two, two. So... We already got the two. This is the second two. So we want one more two. This one. And there's two. Yeah, so we've got our two, two, two. Right, so what we want to do now is fold these as if we're going to do Byzantine, right? And then what you will see, if you let it fall slightly sideways, so that's, that's if you fold it to do Byzantine, squeeze it a little bit, and you'll see that you've got our first set of two crosses. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. Let me just check the focus on this bad boy. So what happens next is we put two rings in on this move. One goes through the one cross and one goes through the other cross, which is fine. Unfortunately, as soon as we try to let go of this to do those up, it's all going to hell in a handcart, right? So I'm gonna take this back out. What I do just to get this weave started, hang on, start again is I use cable ties for just for the first round because as soon as we get further into weave, the weave, it'll stabilise and then you won't need to do this, right? But to get us started, make sure you've got two cable ties on hand. And 
do your Byzantine flip, squeeze it so it folds like that, and you've got your two crosses. And then what I do is I chuck a cable tie, one through each cross, just temporarily, right? So if I drop it or whatever, I'm not gonna lose it. So I still got it, but I've got a cable tie through each one. Now we're gonna put those two rings in. So one through each cross, one goes there, and one goes through there, right? So now I'm gonna do them up. I'm still gonna be very gentle when I let, <laughs> okay, the one fell out, Never mind. Just gonna be very gentle so I don't lose where I am. So that's the one that goes through that cross. And the one that fell out needs to go through that cross. Again, let go of it gently. Pick it back up by the middle. There's your two that we've just put through the cross. One through that cross. And one through that cross, right? Perfect. So now we can undo our cable ties and we're ready. So if we take a closer look at what we've got, when we turn this and fold those two rings, so start to fold those two rings and turn it so you're holding it like that, hopefully you will now recognize what I've already shown you, which will make it easier. So this little bit that we've just done to start is the hardest bit. From now on, we're just doing those moves, look. So this is the one where we go through that ring, we go through the cross, and we go through this one on both sides. So through there, through the cross, and through that one. Obviously, it's not stable at the moment, so just be a little bit careful. And then this one, through the, through the cross, oops, and through there. Just make sure I've done that right, yeah. Like that. So then when we look here, this is the one where we've got that square. It's a bit loose, uh, well, it's a bit out of shape at the minute because obviously it hasn't stabilized, right? But when we look at it, there's our square, there's our four corners. We look where our top ring of the cross is going. He is going through this corner. Typically I haven't got any rings open now. I'll try and open a ring without dropping my work. So he's going through that corner. So this one is going to want to go in there. And then this one is going to want to go in the opposing corner, like so. Oops. Nah. Yes. So do them up. And we put those two together. We end up that move where we want to go down through there, down through the cross, and back down there. And then the same on the other side. And eventually, you will get this. Obviously, if I didn't show you that enough there, go back to where I showed you actually how to do the two steps. I'm going to need more rings open now. So you will eventually get that. I think I might have made that look a bit easy. It's not easy, right? It really isn't, but it sort of can be. If you break it down into bite-sized chunks, then you will get it. <laughs>